So, Dave's in the back seat again. And Joe is filming and driving. Don't hit the neighbor's truck. All right, we gotta hurry up, folks. It's a busy day today. Uh, we've already filmed a video. Shout out to the crew I got. Dave in the back seat. What up? And this guy right here, Mr. Terry. Thank you for being here, sir. Absolutely. Uh, first, I gotta give these guys a real special shout out. They're here the day after the Super Bowl. So if anybody's looking tired or groggy, you already know why. But these guys have been kind enough to join me because guess what we're getting ready to do, folks? What are we about to do, Jeff? Well, if we don't knock everything off of the the nightstand between us. I don't know what you call that thing. What is console. that? Console. Oh, the console. Well, one, I'm getting ready to show you guys this house that I am potentially about to buy. You're going to be seeing this thing for the first time. All of you guys are going to be seeing this, Terry, Dave. Yeah. And the reason we're going there is because we got to go do a home inspection. When you're buying a house, home inspection is very important. You need to find out if your house is going to remain afloat or not. I learned my lesson buying a boat. Turn up. Oh my God. She got right up on plane. That's what she's supposed to do. Yeah, I built it. What? She just died. What do you mean she just died? gonna uh, apply the same logic <coughs> really nice house really excited about this and I'm bringing two professionals with me both of these guys Dave and Terry know quite a bit in terms of remodeling and if a house is falling apart or not now not only are we gonna go do this home inspection that's why we got to be at the house we're gonna get some measurements because we're gonna be doing our rendition after prison show meets flip it or fuck it mm -hmm. I mean, love it or list it. But Joe is going to get his hands dirty today. We're getting ready to do a little uh, dirtiest jobs after prison show status. I got my Tyvek suit. I got my respirator or my dust mask. And uh, I'm getting ready to go up underneath this house. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and put this thing down. The next time you see us, we're going to be at the, uh, the potential new after prison show Casa. All right, so y'all ready to see, uh, see the house? Me humbly boot. It's, I promise you, it's not the house right behind me. It is. Boom! Look at that sucker right there, though. <laughs> That's the new pad. Maybe. That's the new pad if we get some good news here. Did you change shoes, Joe? You damn right I changed shoes. I'm about to go up underneath the house. I ain't worn these shoes since I was on an, o an, on an oyster boat. <laughs> oh, is that the... Those are the shoes when we uh, I was on an oyster boat. So eventually my yard is going to be so green that, you know, you ain't going to be able to walk on it with your shoes. I'm going to be one of them. Be as green as your door. So I know my, I know my door matches the, uh, I know my door matches that damn feeler jacket. Get ready to see the new Casa. Hey. How's it going? Doing good. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Awesome. <laughs> We're just doing the HGTV tour real quick. There you go. <laughs> so you see that flooring right there? Mm -hmm. That's an issue. I mean, like, what we got going on there, man? Oh, no. Huh. It's all over in the, uh, Dude, this in the is... garage right? where they opened it up. Yeah. So what do you think that is? That's water damage or something? It's definitely water damage, but the flooring underneath it could be soft. Don't tear it up. It ain't ours yet. Like this is all rotted. They say it could have been a busted pipe. Can you make that look like it's not broken? It was already broken when I touched it. You broke it, you bought it. <laughs> Terry, what you think of this place, man? It's got a lot of space. It's gonna be a lot of demo work going on. As soon as we sign the contract and close on this thing, we're taking the sledgehammers to it. Nice. That's always fun there. I wonder if the TV is going to fit right here. Got us a fireplace instead of a little electric portable one. We're going to redo the floors in here. We're going to redo these countertops. We can film in here and tell me why. If that's not a sign. What did I say, Joey? 
Joey. That's what my mom used to call me when I was a kid. Dude, this could be the uh, the studio. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to. I mean, it's Echo. We, we would have to. I mean, if it's gonna be a studio, we'd have to. I would. I would drywall it. <laughs> kind of feels like it's uh, falling apart. I don't know about. Oh. I don't, I don't like ladders, you know. Hey, that might slide out, so be careful. All right, so right now we're in the midst of the home inspection. I got Dave and Terry who are definitely being very helpful, giving me a lot of good advice. Forgive me. Giving me a lot of good advice in terms of uh, things that we should be doing, could be doing, improvements that could help boost the value of this property. Uh, but right now we're in a little shed out in the backyard. Now the backyard of this place is, is super huge. Here's the little shed. This could potentially be the next studio. What do you think? You know, that's the thumbnail right there. Hey, look, come get this. I just bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my new house. Hey, come on in. Let me give you a tour, MTV crib style. So we're actually subletting on somebody's back, in their backyard. Uh, this could either be where we film at or uh, you know where people probably try to break in and steal my lawnmower. We'll put um, so Rainy will get the top bump. Oh, we can turn this thing into a cell. It's happening. We're buying it. But you can see right here, uh, the backyard is huge. This is the back of the house right here. We're way in the back. What's even crazier is if you go all the way back to the fence line. Let me show you this. Oh, there's another little shed. This is where they'll steal your lawnmower from. Yeah, not much going on in here. We could film in there, but it's like a tin shed, so that's gonna be super loud. Look, I want to show you this, Dave. If you look over the fence, there's like a creepy old. Oh, somebody actually lives there. There's a car out there. It yeah. says no trespassing. Somebody's car is out there. So I do have a neighbor who lives in the woods. I don't want them to see me though. Y'all see him? Don't look. He's looking. I wonder if there's a reason why there's a deadbolt on this back fence. So the creepy guy in the woods can't get in your backyard and steal your lawnmower. That is interesting. But we got a nice little, I don't know if you guys can see that right there, there's a little concrete pad that goes all the way to the, to the backyard. For your boat. Yeah, but I was honestly thinking about building right here, right past the concrete pad, a big... Right here? Yeah, like a big barn garage type of deal where we actually could turn that into the studio. What are you doing, Terry? So how you feel about uh, a fan already knows where you might live at? Uh The true green guy was just like, yeah, I'm their prison show. All right, so right now we got Terry doing some measurements so we can get square footage of floor that's gonna get replaced. One of the many things we're gonna do, 13 by 14. This room has pillows. Yeah, See if you can. Yeah, some of the flooring in here has uh, definitely got me leaning, leaning more toward the uh, Leaning more toward the fuck it than flip it. <laughs> a floor is a simple fix though. And it's crazy what you... 10 by 12, I had a cell that was that big. <laughs> Hold, so this is gonna be the, uh, this is gonna be the club. You gonna, you gonna, um, you gonna deck it out with sounds like, uh, Danny's like Danny's house? house? No. Yo, my dad was weak when he heard me say, uh, said, damn, your apartment's like the trunk of a Cadillac. So why would you get rid of the wine fridge, Joe? Because what am I going to use it for? Wine? I'm about to put this thing on off for up. It's a chiller. Nathan, I saw the, the, the most amazing ad on off for up. Somebody had their whole kitchen. They took a picture of their whole kitchen just like this. Mm -hmm. And they said, countertops, appliances, and cabinets for sale, $800. But you gotta come take it all out. Gotta come here. So instead of paying a guy to, to demo it, right. why don't you get somebody to pay you to come take it? Mate, you're gonna sell these countertops? Absolutely. Let me get my tool belt out. So I'm gonna put some rocket chairs out here and we're gonna sit here and, uh, and just talk about the neighbors. Oh, look at them. 
Look at them over there. <laughs> they got a meth lab up in that name. I know they do. They driving that. They driving that Volkswagen. I don't even know what a Volkswagen is. <laughs> Can't think of a good boss. <laughs> oh my God. Who you gonna call? So we're getting ready to go under the house and we're dressed up like uh, we're ready for the meth lab. <laughs> Looking like breaking bed right here. I'm gonna need this because I'm going under the house. All right, folks, this is how you do a homeless box. Oh my God. Are you under here? Huh? All right. Okay. There's no spiders under here, are there? Sure. <laughs> uh, One hundred. <laughs> Man, we got there's some snakes and black widows. That's good shit. Yeah, you know, we got the pest control here, so if you see anything, let them know. Probably ruptured, right? At some point, and it spewed water up here for a while and rotted this. That's an OSB. That's siding. I mean, that's really. They should have cut, took the siding off outside. Right. Cut all the bad wood out of that. Put it, scarfed in a new piece there. They didn't do that. But here's that sub floor. See how they fixed it? This is a typical repair. See right here. Okay. But they really still should pull those siding pieces off. You can see the siding right there. Yeah. And cut that bad OSB board out of there and put a new piece in there and, and straighten that up a little bit. So I would say the repair is about, I don't know, I'd give it a C minus. <laughs> so like, in terms of what they've repaired here, why are we still seeing? That's what I'm saying. There's got to be something still going on above there. You, you want to take that flooring up and see if they, <laughs> if this sub floor right here got rotted maybe they did they just put a piece over the rotted and didn't cut the rotted out yet okay they probably haven't pulled that floor at all they just came down here and just reshored this up you know what okay I'm okay but this is definitely horrible right here well yeah they just didn't fix that they didn't want to pull the siding off oh, excuse me joe when you read when you watch this i want you to know that you had your head uncomfortably close to that guy's package <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I just escaped. <laughs> you do got a jumpsuit on. <laughs> but that's good. There's not a it's lot. It's not that dirty down there. I've crawled out of houses before. That's because they and got the, forgot it was white. That's because they got the moisture seal there. You like your uh, you like your Tyvek? I was getting kind of claustrophobic in there. I was feeling like... I hate being underneath. That. What if the house collapsed? Okay. I was gone for a minute, but I'm back now. Just got done with the home inspection. So that was the other house that we were looking at right there. From this corner one? Yeah, this corner one. You can see the for sale sign. For sale. I love this house in comparison to the other one. But I love the other house as well. The only problem with this house is if you look into the backyard, it's a nice little backyard. And then, bang! Interstate. Right in the backyard. Oh shit, I got a car right behind me. Yeah, you got an interstate right there. Like who wants that in their backyard? They ain't got no fence out there. Crazy. I want to thank Terry and Dave for giving me a lot of really good information during this home inspection. And I want to shout out to my, my realtor, Nathan, who RIP to his ears. Dave, boy, you talk that man to death. <laughs> Damn, man, Dave, take the cuffs off the man. I need to do something. God, bless Dave telling the man his entire life story. Yeah, man, when I was five years old, man, it just didn't work out for me. Dave. But anyways, so we got the home inspection completed, and really, uh, there's not a lot of major problems with the house. I went underneath the house, and underneath the house looked so clean, you could eat off them joists. I mean, maybe not so much, but there was no termites. <laughs> There's only one little issue, and there's a couple of little issues. One issue is when you turn the fireplace on, the CO, the CO2 detector be going like beep, 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 beep. So, uh, you know, you could die yeah, that's good. running that fireplace. Yeah, there's an issue when you can die. So now we get to, uh, we get to negotiate some more. Okay. 
crap, I gotta get over, and you gotta get over, and I got a camera on the interstate. Boy, this joint is not safe. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and stop filming. Just wanted to introduce you guys. Oh boy, look at Joe, where you going? Boy, you sliding in there right behind me and stuff. Joe speeding reckless ass. Yes, she was kind of reckless. Shout out to you guys. You got a little uh, small taste of the potential new After Prison Show crib. And we're gonna be doing a lot of remodeling in that place. I'm ready. So uh, special thanks to Dave and Terry again. Yep. I can't wait to share with all of you the before and after.